it's time for some GeForce. GeForce right now. And what this project is, is basically Fortnite, all the programs that you want to play on Linux, you can play through the cloud. Cloud gaming. Most people know I'm not a fan of this, as I've tried it in the past with like Stadia and other things. We may even pull up Stadia just to check in on it. Um, but it's limited game selection and closed ecosystem was always kind of like a meh when it came to Stadia. But if your game's on Stadia, it works fine now. Uh, but for GeForce Now, they have a free tier. So pretty much anybody can sign up and play it. You just have to wait for a system. And uh, you can actually play it on Linux using a little uh, trick. So with that, let's jump on the desktop. I'm going to show you the little trick to get you able to play GeForce Now on Linux because you can play it natively on Chromebook. So Chrome and Linux is pretty much the same thing. I mean, Chrome's just Gen 2 Linux, just with a, a new skin and the Google tag on it. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and trick our Linux and uh, start playing some games. All right, so I obviously made a little website here. Uh, if you look at the top of this page, it's just christitis.com forward slash GeForce Linux or GeForce Now Linux. If you can't find this on the main page, you can just go to the search, just type GeForce, and then it'll just pop up in there. Just click on that. It'll pull in your GeForce Now. Also, check the description for the link as I'll leave it in the, the show notes as well. So all you really need to do is install this extension. Just click this link. I'm just going to pull that up in another tag. Install user agent switcher for Chrome. As you see, it's already there. If you're on a Chromium based browser, this will work. So the new edge, I'm using Brave. If you're on Vivaldi, if you're on pretty much everything but Firefox, use an agent switcher will work. Uh, you'll see it's actually in the top corner here. So if you actually click on it, you can actually switch and say, hey, I want to pretend like I'm Chrome or uh, I want to pretend like I'm Internet Explorer you can switch your user agent to kind of display that website. Uh, so with that done, we need to modify this to say, hey, we're Chrome OS, uh, as it's pretty much identical to pretty much every Linux install. So coming back into here, you can see we just need to add this user agent. So what we'll do is look for this little string. We just got to add this whole thing. I have this little quick, easy copy to clipboard button. So you just click that, it'll copy the whole line. We'll right click on our user agent, hit options. And then from here, we just need to make an agent name, which we're gonna call this Chrome OS. And then we're gonna paste that whole string in. And then we need to make a flag, we'll call this COS. And we'll hit add. So there's Chrome OS added to our user agent switcher. First, we'll, we'll pull up play.geforce now. You'll see, hey, your device isn't supported. And then you're like, hey, wait a second. I am a Chromebook. Refresh the page, and here we go. So we're on GeForce Now. We'll say, hey, agree and continue. And then you're gonna need to log in with an NVIDIA account. So I'll go ahead and log in with mine. All right, you see we're logged in, and you'll see my name's Homer G Dog. Uh, it's a weird game name that a gamer tag I had since I was basically a kid, and I just never bothered to change it. So we'll launch into Fortnite as many people, I think, want to play Fortnite on Linux and just can't or have used it as an excuse to dual boot or other things. And as a first person shooter, it's a great test because first person shooters really don't do well with any type of lag. And a little bit of a spoiler, last night at eight o'clock during prime time, yeah, it was a hot mess. It was definitely laggy AF. And I'm going to tell you, I'm curious to see what it is right now. As we're not quite to prime time, as it's right about 5 o'clock central time, as prime time's usually in a couple hours, but let's see what we get. If, it, if it's laggy or not, I'll be able to tell you just uh, as we play through a basic game. All right, here we go. We're going to hit continue. I like how seamless this is. The launch directly into full screen is so darn clean. Uh, I also like that the fact that it remembered all my credentials from last night when I was on a different computer, just kind of tinkering around just to see if this would work. And the fact that we're able to do all this so seamlessly from just a browser is pretty amazing, even if it is laggy. 
So let's, let's see how laggy this truly is. Now I will say one thing, I was playing Destiny 2 on Stadia, and one thing I noticed about the Stadia servers was their load times were in very impressive. Like the load scenes are better than my actual PC back here that just runs Windows uh, for strictly only gaming. So the optimization that's done on Stadia side is really impressive on the load times. On Fortnite, I can't obviously test that on Stadia because it's just not available, where GeForce Now just has such a vast library available to it. So let's go ahead and play a little Battle Royale. We're gonna pwn some noobs. All right, I can already tell it's a little bit laggy during the load screen, which isn't really fair because pretty much every load screen in Battle Royales are a little laggy. But I do think NVIDIA, this is just like the first week of it launching this. And I will say it isn't well optimized yet. All right, let's see how we're getting. It seems a bit more responsive on the actual mouse movements. All right, I had to mute some people. Oh my word. I remember why I don't play these types of games. All right, let's see if I can heal my teammate. You and me, Rami, we're going places, bud. I'm coming, Rami. Hang in there, bud. Oh, another chest. Hey, we killed somebody. I didn't think that would happen. Oh, no. That <laughs> didn't last long. <laughs> oh, we got we got two people here. This is a team game, isn't it? And game over. All right, so overall, uh, I will say it did work a lot better. It wasn't laggy. I would love to take, you know, blame it on the lag for me dying there, but obviously... You know, you had actually two or three people team up on me there. In fact, I even downed one of them. It's kind of shocking. So, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and quit out. I will say this is not bad. Although, if you're going to really rely on this, I would definitely do the paid plan so you get priority and get the top tier stuff. Because during prime time, using the free... Uh, I, like I said, I ran into problems. Obviously, on the off time, which right now is kind of on the cusp of prime time, the fact I didn't really run into much lag, I think just says, hey, uh, don't use a free pass during the absolute peak of uh, usage. So that's GeForce now. I gotta say, this is fantastic for Linux. It's, it's fantastic for just, you know, those couch gamers that don't want to splurge $500 for a console. You can literally do this on pretty much any system now, which is fantastic. Uh, and it'll keep me from dual booting. Uh, obviously for me, I still have my gaming rig where I use actually full on GeForce streaming uh, using the Moonlight project and then just straight uh, local shield streaming, which is great as well. But if you actually wanna stream through the internet, definitely have a good internet connection. Um, don't go through Wi-Fi and, and you know, you should be fine. It, it just one thing I will mention when doing streaming is things get a little washed out. It doesn't look as clean. Uh, obviously, in a game like Fortnite, it doesn't matter that much. But when it came to a game like Destiny, I could see a massive difference between streaming locally and streaming through the internet. Because when I jumped on uh, the Stadia portion of it, which Stadia is very, very well optimized for Destiny 2, um, all the textures you could see were really washed out where if I was streaming locally, it'd be much more detailed. Obviously with just GeForce now, that would just be amplified. So just a couple differences when you go to internet streaming of games to here. Also, I really like the fact with GeForce now, these are accounts and games I already own. Uh, obviously with Fortnite, it's free anyways, but a lot of the games I can actually log in and play. Like I can log into my Epic account where the Stadium one, you were locked in Google's ecosystem. So. To me, it's a no-brainer when it comes to actually streaming on the web. If I was going to pay money and stream games, GeForce Now is probably what I would use. 
But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you to all the Chris Titus members. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.